We've got a long video for you today. <laughs> we have Kevin, onions. Kevin and I are going to be trying uh, French fried onions. Uh, what started this whole video, if you're a faithful viewer, you know, we had a pizza and the pizza had, we did a review, the pizza had these French fried onions on the top. And she couldn't quit eating them. I couldn't quit eating them. It was killing Kevin because I was just picking, picking, <laughs> picking, picking. And he, he took my hand and he went, Stop it. Uh, because I couldn't quit stop eating them. But I haven't had, I have, I've never experienced French fried onions before. And guess what? I liked them a lot on that pizza. So we went on a hunt. Uh, after doing that review, some people said, hey, I wonder if the uh, store brands are just as good as the French's. These are the, the French's are the ones that you like see available everywhere. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to be comparing those to the, we have the Kroger brand, we have the Great Value, the Good and Gather, which is Target, and then the French's. And then we have a Fresh Gourmet brand. And then these two are flavored ones from Fresh Gourmet and Great Value. They, this one is the garlic pepper and this one is the garlic pepper. Garlic pepper. Okay, they're, they're both, both garlic, garlic pepper. pepper. And um, so we, um, I actually, we looked in like Trader Joe's. We also looked in Whole Foods because we were going to try their brands too, but we couldn't find them. These, I don't think they're the easiest thing to find. No, they're where the green beans are 90% of the time. Yes, but even when they're with the green beans, they're hard they're to still, kind of blend in. Yeah, they're sometimes hard to find. So um, we can give you the prices. This time we're going to do it a little different. We're going to give you the prices as we go along because I think that'll be easier because there's so many. Um, these were two dollars fifty nine cents at Kroger. Uh, French fried onions. 24 servings in the container, two tablespoons, seven grams is 45 calories. So wonder, uh, let's see, how many, okay, how many calories is that for the whole thing? If there's two tablespoons, oh, there's 24, servings. 24 servings, but 24 servings, how do you? 1,080. Oh, see, I don't think that's bad. A thousand eighty for that whole for that whole can. So, okay. So there's a little tab. Like a thing of peanuts. Yeah, like exactly planters peanuts. Like. They smells. Gosh. Yeah, I'm wondering like the flavors. I would suspect the flavors would be similar, but I'm wondering how like greasy are they? Bitter. How oniony are they? Those are nice. How about a nice soft crunch to them? They're salty too, aren't they? I have, I'm telling you, I've been missing out. <laughs> yeah, she literally never had these before. Why? These are, these taste like, um, they taste like a sweet onion mm -hmm. that's been Like a bidet onion. Yeah, like a bidet, yes, like a bidet onion that you put in the deep fryer mm -hmm. and they have a, I love the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has a really good, nice mm -hmm. layer of salt on them. So, because these are so delicious and you would, this to me is like snack food. Why don't they sell these in bags for people to eat like potato chips? I know, a little snack bag, you didn't say where these are. These are a product of the Netherlands. That's because I didn't see that. It's distributed out of Cincinnati, Ohio, but it's a product of the Netherlands. Of the Netherlands? Okay, huh. that's interesting. So those uh, are good. I like those. Those are delicious, yeah. Um, so Kroger so far, doing a good job. These are the Great Value uh, Walmart brand, $2.94 at Walmart. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with a little saltiness in there. Now, would I rather have them in a can or a bag? Or a bag? <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah. choose the can because you can get right in there and just get them. Yes, because you can eat it out of the can like peanuts, uh, and and it's just easier. And they have the same amount of servings: two tablespoons. Uh, two? No, this is one and a half tablespoons. Is forty calories for one and a half. Mine's a six ounce can. What's yours? Oh, this is a six ounce. Oh, okay. So it is the same. Same. Uh, so the but but the Walmart were more expensive. The Walmart was two ninety four. The Kroger was two fifty nine. These are a little, little darker. darker. Yeah. And a little smaller, some. Yeah, why don't these, they sell these in like potato chip bags? Mm. 
Those are crunchier. Those definitely aren't as good. No, they don't have nearly the onion flavor, do they? No, they've like mm. cooked them too long. I do get the little bit of a saltiness from them, just a touch. Mm -hmm. But the onion flavor is like half as much. I mean, they're still good. They're good. If you buy them, you'll probably be satisfied. Yeah, if you were to eat those on their own without putting them next to something else, you'd be fine. You'd be fine, but they are harder. Yeah, they and are, they're all harder. The sweetness isn't, uh, the sweet onion doesn't come through right. like it does for that. So, so um, far, Kroger is winning. Yeah, Kroger. Did I get that out of the way? Yeah. Okay. This is the Good and Gather. And the Good and Gather were three nineteen at Target. And they're a six ounce bag? Six ounce bag. The same price, but a lot more. But they're so more expensive. They're not a lot more. But, but they are more at Target. Three nineteen. 24 servings again, one and a half tablespoons. It's still 40 calories. So, so it's the same uh, calories and everything as the Walmart ones. These are dark. Okay. Whoop. Get some big pieces in there. Don't get the onion flavor. You don't get the flavor at all. I mean, if I were to eat those. You get it, but it's like, it's nothing compared to that Kroger brand. The onion comes through more of an aftertaste than while I'm eating it. Uh-huh. Whereas the Kroger, it was for the minute you put it in your mouth, you tasted onion. Yes, and it was that sweet onion and it flavor. And softer texture. These, too. These are hard. Harder. They're harder. They've been cooked longer. Mm -hmm. They're not as a, the Kroger. I'll tell you what too had a like a fluffier texture. Mm -hmm. of, yeah, like a lighter uh, crunch. Airier, a, a lighter airier texture yeah. than these. I these agree. and the the Walmart are very very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, like, they could be manufactured in the same place. They could be. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if if yeah, it wouldn't surprise I mean, me. It may not be. I'm just saying that the flavors and textures are so similar it's, they could be. Yes, they very well could be. Okay, now these are the, the original. The original. They were oh the four dollars thirty nine. But how much did you get? Four thirty nine. Six. Wow. Six ounces. So you're literally talking twice. But where as much. did we buy these? Did we buy these Target. at Target? Yeah. Okay. That's probably why they were more expensive. Because we bought them at Target. Mm -hmm. So the Target brand was $319. So Target is gonna price theirs lower than they're gonna charge for the so you could probably get these cheaper at no, Walmart, Walmart and we just didn't get them at Walmart. We should have. Okay, but we probably went to Target first. We, we did. already bought them. And we, we were trying to make sure we got what we could when we could because yeah. you never know if they're out of it yeah. somewhere else. So. so if you're wondering why do their brains work the way they work, well, because we had already been there. Okay. <laughs> they're first. So these, ooh, now these look more similar to the Kroger ones. They look bigger too. They, yeah. Uh, this is uh, two tablespoons, seven grams is 45. The Kroger, the Kroger was 45. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, these look bigger. Maybe they're not. No. Well, <coughs> there's a big one on top. Mm-hmm. The Kroger brand had a big one. Hmm. That doesn't even taste like onion. It tastes like something else. I, do, I don't like it. No, though. I don't like those at all. <laughs> There's a kind of a funkiness to them, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Earthy. Mm-hmm. Like you're eating a vegetable. Which is, well. You, well, you are. I mean, but you I know. I mean, is an onion a vegetable? It, it is, but I mean, it is. Yes, it is. But the Kroger tasted like sweet onion. That does not, that's. It's funny, they're all, they all have basically the same ingredients too. Yeah, I don't care I don't, about that. I don't like that. Isn't stuff. that funny? The flavor I, of them is kind of funky. I really thought, oh, these are gonna be awesome. Yeah, and they're gone. No, I'm the, still going the, for Kroger. The great value and the Target brand are better than those. Uh, yes, they are. I would, yes, I would pick either one of these. These are last so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, these, uh, these were, um, they're the Fresh Gourmet brand, 
and they were two fifty at Kroger, yeah. but they do sell this brand at Walmart. Yeah. And at Walmart, they sell them. Um, uh, I think these are sold in the green bean aisle, mm -hmm. but then these are in I think the produce section under a table. Yeah. yeah Something like that. At Kroger, they're in the the right now between the bread and the produce. Yeah. Yeah, they're right like in the produce the, area. The healthy toppings are. There was like nuts and stuff mm -hmm. like that over there. Okay. So uh, these, uh, uh, wow, this is only a 3.5 ounce. And it was how much? It was 250. Oh, it's the same so price these, as the... So uh, these bags are smaller. This brand, Fresh Gourmet, is you're not getting near as much as all the other brands. Uh, one and a half tablespoons is 40 calories. I'm just gonna put that on the Yeah, I like the can too. I, it, it, I'd rather put my hand, it's easier to put my hand in a can than when you put it down in these bags, your or fingers you are touching the sides and they might get greasy or whatever. It's yeah. maybe for a recipe, I don't know. That's true. These are dark. Yeah, if you're making them for a recipe, you're right. I wouldn't get those either. I mean, I get those are about as good as the Walmart ones are. Um, I agree. They're similar. I'd like the salt. Yeah, but they don't have really much onion flavor. I mean, you get onion, but it's not like a lot of onion. You know, it's funny because I wasn't going to say this out loud, but I glanced at the ingredients. I'm right. I was going to say these taste a little bit like sunflower kernels. Hmm. They use sunflower oil. To cook them. And I'm wondering, that's for me, it's a, it's a hint of it, and it's more after I swallow and that, that aftertaste is in my mouth. It's a little like sun, you get a hint of that sunflower flavor. Yeah, I It's agree. from the it's oil. The oil. Yeah. yeah, you you taste that in these. I don't mind them. I don't mind them either, um, but for a good onion, fried onion, it's not. Yeah, mm. for, I'm still, so we've tried all the, um, we've tried all the brands of, of the regular. We haven't, you know, the, not including the flavor. We've said it again and again. Yeah, let me have one of those again. Let me make sure. These don't compare to that. Mm -hmm. The texture. The texture's got them all beat 100%. Yeah. Um, and the then you texture, get the it's oniony just, saltiness. I mean, you just don't yes. get that with any of the rest of them. No, and you, yeah, you don't get that sweet onion flavor. Mm -mm. Um, These are the ones to get. Yeah, the Kroger. And a lot of you don't have, so if you don't have a Kroger store near you. Probably be the Walmart would be my next one. Because it was more of an oniony flavor than the rest of them. The French's is 100% my lowest one. Yo, yo, this would be my last choice. I would never get those again. Nada. They're, I they don't, have a weird I, like, like they don't taste like onion. Anymore. No. I would say if you have either Target or Walmart. Either one of those. These, yeah, yeah, yeah. These were so similar. Yeah. They're agree. literally so similar that it's like, go wherever you can get them cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoever has the cheapest price, it's the same size bag and everything. Yeah, same calories. Very similar flavor, yeah. very similar texture. Yeah, if I was a betting person, I'd say they came out of the same factory. Now, they probably didn't, but that just seems that way. I didn't mind these. I didn't mind them, but they didn't really have much of an onion flavor. No. So, so that that's our order right there. And, and I'm just shocked by these. Mm -hmm. So, now some people, probably every Thanksgiving, it's their tradition to buy these, the French's brand. You're gonna have to change it up this year. Try it, you should try it. You need Just, to try it. Even if you have to buy a can, because they're not that much. They're, they're, I mean, you know, you're talking less than $3 mm -hmm. for this can of, if you have a Kroger or Walmart um, or Target. Try these and just eat them and see what you think about them because the onion flavor is so much better with these. This would be fun to do with your kids. If you, if, if, they like if, if you have kids <laughs> and you like make green bean casserole and your kids like eating these, if you all snack on them and stuff, this would be fun to do because they're cheap enough and you'll probably end up eating them anyway, you know? 
Um, so it's not like you're not going to use them on, on your casserole. This is fun to do because you really can tell the difference. Um, at least between the Kroger and that French's. Mm. Yeah, the French is Do you think you, we need another plate? I think you fit them on here. Okay. So now these are the flavored ones. These are the uh, Fresh Gourmet Garlic Pepper. And I have the Walmart brand. So these were two fifty at Kroger, just like the other fresh for me. And mine were only a dollar thirty four at Walmart. Oh wow, that's dirt cheap. And three point five. Yeah, three point five. So the same way, so but it's half the price. Wow. Okay. So uh, one and a half tablespoons, forty calories for fourteen servings. This says sprinkle over burgers, yeah. hot dogs, potato salad. Uh, I potato see that. salad? Yeah, just, I don't think it would be bad. Salad. They're just out of crispiness. Though. Potato salad's already good enough. You don't have to add I get, I could definitely see it on a hamburger because I've had restaurant hamburgers that have these on them. Okay, it says add to roasted potatoes or Brussels sprouts halfway through roasting. <clears throat> Toss with steak, bell peppers, roasted corn, and romaine for the ultimate steak salad. Yeah, I've had palm steak before. These are a product of Mexico. Okay. Ooh, they have some seasonings on them. Oh yeah. There's some big piece of onion in there too. Look at mm -hmm. it. That's like a chip. I know, that's what I'm saying. They need to sell these in bags. Like a lace bag. Oh, it's strong. It's very strong. Wow. Almost too strong. I mean, like literally, like raw garlic. I like the pepper. I should say there's some pepper in there too. Mm -hmm. All onion flavor is obliterated. <laughs> yeah, you get garlic. And I mean, you really didn't taste in the original. You really didn't taste the onion anyway. This one, you really don't taste the onion. I think those are great. That would be good on a hamburger. I could see that being really good on a hamburger or a steak or, or something. A salad. Seasoning or the salad, yeah. I like their idea for a steak salad, mm -hmm. but let's be honest, I could just eat, just, I mean, hello. It's too strong for me. I love that. I think it's delicious. Oh, um, too, a little too much. No, I, I love it. I am a huge fan though of pepper and that garlic. I, I would probably eat those so much I'd get sick. It tastes like I've eaten a steak. Like the seasoning on a, like an Outback steak or something like yes, that. You if get you that, just lick it. If you get that seasoning after you've eaten it and you're like, mm, good, good flavor. That's what mm -hmm. that, the aftertaste is. Okay. So that's so, if Walmart has got them at least tied. Okay, so one and a half tablespoons, 40 calories. There we go. They're tiny. Yeah, they put them in these tall bags. I get more onion from that than I did the original. I was gonna say, the big difference, they're supposed to taste like garlic pepper. The big difference between the uh, Fresh Gourmet and the Walmart brand, the Fresh Gourmet, you literally didn't taste the onion at all. It was all garlic. It was all garlic, all pepper. pepper. This, you still taste the onion. Mm -hmm. um, and Which it, is surprising, because you really didn't taste the onion that strong in the just the regular ones. It really... Um, those are good. Mm -hmm. Now see, I like those. This one was too much garlic for me. Those are a perfect blend of garlic, pepper, and onion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really is. Mm. That's um, really, really good. It's not too much of anything. It's, I would even add that to my green bean casserole. Um, I know. That would add a lot of flavor to it. It absolutely would. Um, yes. What's the rest? Do they have a recipe for the green bean casserole? No. no. I don't know if they did on the regular bag either. No, they, uh, on the great bag, uh, yep, yes, they, they do. They all have a recipe for green bean casserole. I wonder <laughs> if they all have the same recipe for green bean casserole. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to check. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll check. We'll let uh, you know. Um, this, uh, that, th I love this. Yeah. Um, for a snack, this would be the one I would pick. Out of yes. everything we've tried. Like I could sit on the couch and eat those. Yes, <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Yeah. That is delicious. It's very, very good. I'm surprised after doing all these, I thought at least one of them would come across as like that greasy like aftertaste. They didn't, none, none of them had a, like a greasy fried, like, at, you know, sometimes you get that really heavy greasy fried mm -hmm. flavor. 
None of them really had that. They were all pretty decent. The worst one by far is that French's brand, which is so surprising to me. Yeah. It's a and I never would have known that ever. I mean, I would have always have said, oh, well, 100% the, the original is going to be better than anything you're getting out of the store. It's not. Okay. <laughs> Here's the question. You have the money to buy one oh, bag out of all of these. One what am bag. I using it for? Just well, anything. Anything. <laughs> because I have a pick. I would probably pick the the Walmart garlic pepper one. That's the one. I would probably pick that. But if you don't want the strong pepper and garlic flavor but on your green bean hassle. But it wasn't too it wasn't, strong. But, but it does have a strong pepper flavor. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting a little tingle on my tongue even from the oh, pepper. Oh, exciting. Um, if you didn't want the strong seasonings, 100% the Kroger brand. But. But if I were to buy one for either uh, one of the casserole or just snack on, yeah, it would be these. They should sell these in a sleeve like they do peanuts. <laughs> and that way you can open like it and a, just. Like a, maybe a, a, yeah. an 80 calorie pack. Because they're only 40 calories for one and a half tablespoons. So yeah, so bad. these, these that this one is the choice. Now, if you want to. Uh, Stay tuned. So you've got your answer for that. If you want to stay tuned for just a, another second, we'll sit here and talk about, for just a minute, talk about the recipe. Okay. Uh, we moved the, the Fresh Gourmet out of the way completely because it was the only brand that does not have the recipe yeah. for green bean casserole on the back of the back. So we're going to, we want to just kind of compare uh, green bean casserole. Um, and so... I guess now we all know Tammy has never eaten green bean casserole. Mm -hmm. I've never I had it. My I've mom, seen it, but I've never you actually, haven't eaten I've it. I've never eaten it. My mom made it, and it was kind of one of those things like creamed corn. I've eaten creamed corn. corn. Do you love creamed, love creamed corn? corn? Yeah. Um, it's one of those things that like it tastes good, but it doesn't visually appeal to me. Uh, green bean casserole, it was always like, I, I, I think my mom put cream of mushroom in it. And uh, it was one of those things where it's like, nah, I'll pass. <laughs> it always looked um, a little too thick and goopy for me. Yes. But now being an adult, I like cream and mushroom know. soup. I like green beans. I love these onions. I know. So. I'm wondering if we shouldn't try green bean casserole. Okay. So, easy green bean casserole. This is from Target. Um, it says you need uh, uh, two cans of french style green beans yeah mine say cans of green beans i'm not saying how does many. it say french style mine just say cut and green bean and cut okay so they want you to get french style the french style is the skinny ones they're skinny yeah. yeah see that's the kind i always saw was the skinny kind yeah uh this says a can of creamy mushroom soup yeah milk, milk and milk. these onions no yeah. so that's it and th these two have pepper Oh, this doesn't have you. This one, pepper. these both say a dash of pepper. Okay, this doesn't. And the great value one has something else in there. Okay, the so French's green bean casserole says uh, they're telling you ca Campbell's. Yeah, they're going to put their name uh, on it. Cream and mushroom, milk. Oh, they're saying uh, they must be in cahoots with McCormick, too. Uh, so that, because they said McCormick pure ground black pepper. Pepper. So that's what these two say. Green beans. Mm -hmm. And uh, the onions. and the onions, yeah. yeah. The only one really different is the uh, the uh, the Walmart brand. It says add a uh, t a tablespoon or a teaspoon 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 of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, but it says Ooh. optional. Next Ooh, but it. I love me some Worcestershire. That sauce. would add a little bit of flavor to it. Yes, it would. It would add a little it, kick to it. Yeah, it would be really really good. This uh, the French's uh, well. This one has, uh, the Good and Gather has a pub burger recipe. Um, well, that's a lie. It just says you can put it on It says you can put it on a pub burger. Okay, so the French's is the only one with additional recipes. Yeah, and that's another recipe. It actually has a recipe for uh, crispy onion bacon potatoes. Oh, that could be good. And it has a recipe for crunchy onion chicken. Hmm. So you could take a picture in the store of the recipe <laughs> or look it up online. and don't buy this and then use it with the other onions because I wouldn't buy these. Uh, but yeah, so. I hope this was fun for you. I know we enjoyed doing it because I yeah. learned something. Yeah. Oh yeah. And well, I'm wondering too, are, uh, so uh, cream and mushroom, green beans, milk, and these onions, 
do you put anything else? Do you put a dash of Worcestershire or is there something else that you put in your green bean casserole? Because uh, that might be something that Kevin and I have to make now. Uh, now that we, we got onions. We, <laughs> yeah, we, we got plenty of onions, onions to and, make with. Yeah, exactly. So, but I might try. I would like to try it with uh, with those with garlic the garlic. Onions. I know, I know. That's the only thing. If we make it, but you have um, to buy two bags of that. Oh, do, yeah, because it's a smaller it's three bag. Three and a half ounces. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and do do you need a, a big bag? It just says a bag. It, this one says one and a third cups of oh, the onions yeah, that's divided. True. One and a third cups. Mine says one and a third. Uh, one and one and a half. This says one and a half bag divided. This is one and a half. Yeah. So I don't. I guess some you mix in with the green beans and some you sprinkle on top. I guess so. I'm wondering though if you mix it in with the green beans inside, does that get mushy like cereal? I don't know. Cream mushroom is pretty thick. It's not watery. Yeah, it is thick and white. It's, it's thick, thick so I don't think it would soak into the onions. <laughs> right, side. yeah. Or you could put onions in the center mixed in and then the pepper, garlic pepper ones on top, or vice versa. Right, yeah, it'll be interesting to see the comments below and to see, I'm sure there's some people out there like us that have never tried it. I mean, surely there's there's people like us that have never had it before. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.